At six, DeKalb County School Board is paying $750,000 to a nationally known educator. The board chose him as a school superintendent finalist, but he never worked a single day in the role. Channel 2's investigative reporter Richard Belcher says it appeared the educator had the job before a last minute reversal. He joins us live from DeKalb. Richard. Yeah, Jovita, a year ago, the school board made Dr. Rudy Crew, the former chancellor of the New York City school system, the only finalist to be DeKalb's new superintendent. Two weeks, the board said, ah, never mind. Well, that sudden reversal is going to cost DeKalb taxpayers a lot of money. When I went to law school, if somebody makes an offer, they're authorized to do it, you accept it, you've got a contract. The attorney for Dr. Rudy Crew last summer Two months earlier, the school board surprised everyone when it declined to finalize a deal that looked like a certainty. Crew filed a complaint with the EEOC alleging that the board illegally considered his age of 69 when rejecting him, and he charged he was the victim of racial discrimination. One board member in particular apparently um, took offense uh, about uh, Dr. Crew's race and the fact that he had been married to a white woman. Now the school board has quietly agreed to pay Dr. Cruz $750,000 to settle his suit without acknowledging any wrongdoing, a standard position in such settlements. It's appalling, you know, that the taxpayers have to shell out money where the money could be spent in the schools and the facilities to improve and to educate our children. Four members of the good government group restored to cab, which opposed Dr. Cruz's appointment, say the settlement is new evidence of financial mismanagement. It's a shame that the Cab County School District keep wasting taxpayer money. Everybody that voted the first time to bring Rudy Crew in, they should step down. Two members fear parents and taxpayers aren't paying attention to the school district which spends far more tax money than DeKalb County's government. We got to get them at the table, get them involved as far as when it comes down where the money should be spent. Please, please get involved. Know what's going on and speak your voice. You have a voice and you should be informed. Both sides in this lawsuit agreed not to say anything publicly after the settlement. The remarks we included from Dr. Cruz's attorney, we should point out, were from an interview we conducted last July. Live in DeKalb County, Richard Belcher, Channel 2 Action News.